What up, you nerds? My name is Fallout, and today's video is sponsored by Privacy.com. Protect your financial identity online using virtual cards and get $5 redos off your first purchase at Privacy.com slash Fallout. If you're like many people in the community, you're dying to get your hands on the bottom dollar hand cannon, currently the only obtainable 120 RPM energy hand cannon in D2 right now. All the other hot 120 RPM hand cannons are kinetic, meaning bottom dollar can pair together with the Chaperone, Bite of the Fox, Eye of Soul, Bastion, if you worship the devil, and the list goes on. Down the line, we're going to be able to get our hands on the new Trials hand cannon, which also will be a 120 RPM energy hand cannon. And furthermore, some people really aren't fond of Trials, so for those reasons and more, a lot of people really want a god roll bottom dollar. Unfortunately, there's only one way to get the bottom dollar hand cannon, and that is by playing... How about... Yeah, trust me, if there were literally any other way to get this hand cannon, believe me, I would do it. But no, gotta be a dredgen, gotta play a little gambit, so the TLDR method of how to farm for the bottom dollar is play a buttload of gambit and cross your fingers. But man, that would be a really terrible video, so today we're gonna go over two things. One, how you can get more loot from playing gambit, literally a two second tip but still worth mentioning, and more importantly, two, a team build that you and your friends can try out that is painfully good in Gambit, and if you pull it off, you'll be burning through games at lightning speed. After all, you might not be able to improve your odds with Lady Luck, but you can make the games go by faster. So tip number one, if you're farming for a bottom dollar, you always, literally always, want to be running a ghost shell with the perk Gambit Prosperity located in column four. If you have that bad boy turned on, then you have a chance to drop an extra piece of legendary gear on a win. So hey, two chances of getting a bottom dollar on a win rather than just one. The catch though, as you might've noticed on the perk, you gotta actually win the game. And with that, let's move on to a team build that has really taken over the Gambit meta. As some of you may have guessed, it is built around abusing the new Falling Star Titan exotic armor. If you wanna be really optimal in demolishing the primeval, gotta have a minimum of three, but ideally four Titans with this exotic. There's kind of more to the build though. It's not just about deleting the primeval immediately, which believe me, we will get to. But I also wanna talk you through my own personal loadout, which I find good for trash shredding. That way you can both carve through all the enemies on the field, summon the primeval before the enemy team, then immediately delete the primeval. Loadout wise, I begin the game by rolling with Risk Runner, Tier 10 Discipline, Armamentarium, Pulse Grenades, and Code of the Missile. I use that loadout at the beginning because Risk Runner is a god tier trash shredder and you can easily activate the Arc Conductor perk by grenading yourself with arc damage. Armamentarium and Tier 10 Discipline is just to make sure that you never find yourself in a situation where you can't self-activate Risk Runner. For my kinetic weapon, I wound up going with Heritage, mainly because slug shotties are strong and a great way to deal heavy damage to blockers or high value targets. For the old power weapon, Code Duello with Lasting Impression. I almost never whip that sucker out until the primeval shows up though. More on that in a minute. If you're not down with Risk Runner, A, how dare you, but B, you could always run a Warmind Cell build. Wither Horde, a Nyclos SMG, and the usual combo of Rage of the Warmind, Wrath of Rasputin, Burning Cells, and Global Reach, or whatever other Warmind loadout you like running. Also, it's gonna be a good idea to have one person on your team running an invader build that does not focus on running your super. You want an invader build where you're abusing strong weapons and nothing else. Xenophage, Izanagi, Cloud Strike, Eyes of Tomorrow, Polaris Lance, whatever you feel good about invading with weapon-wise. It's also really key that you get that first invade off before the enemy team. As soon as you see you have enough moats for everyone to dunk for a total of 25 to get your first invader in there, stop what you're doing and go dunk. I can't tell you how much of a head start you can give yourself by pulling off a great invade early on in Gambit. All right, so fast forward a little bit. Let's talk about insta-melting the primeval. As mentioned earlier, you really want four titans all running the new Falling Star exotic. If you're a hunter or warlock player who literally doesn't even have a titan, eh. Sorry, you can try to hit as hard as the Titan, but you're gonna fall short. Maybe try Celestial Nighthawk for Hunter or Geomag Chaos Reach for the Warlock. But again, yeah, Titans dominate this strategy pretty hard. So Primeval pops in right away, get rid of the two Envoys and clear the stage. Remember that killing Envoys gives you a damage buff on the Primeval, so it's a good thing to kill them right away. Now here's how it's gonna go down. One Guardian on your team tags the Primeval with the Tractor Cannon to debuff him. While he's doing that, the other three Guardians should hit the Primeval with a Lasting Impression Rocket Launcher if they have one. That part's not really vital, but as long as you're waiting for the Primeval to get Tractor Cannoned, you might as well hit him with something, right? When the Tractor Cannon Guardian 
Dean calls out that he has debuffed the primeval, everybody pops Falling Star Thunder Crash and you cannonball into that primeval, killing it immediately. Remember how I said I start off the game with Armamentarium? Right when that primeval hits the field, I immediately open up my menu and put on the Falling Star so I don't forget. Once the envoys are gone and it's just you and the primeval, it's pretty much game over. Regarding the tractor cannon, yeah, you really do need one. We ran this build early on without the tractor cannon and just yeeted ourselves into the primeval with thunder crash only. It isn't strong enough even with all four of you. need the tractor cannon debuff to insta-melt the primeval. And of course the rocket launcher damage doesn't hurt either. You can also open up your artifact and unlock the perk Volatile Conduction which can power up your thunder crash even further if you activate it while critically wounded. Put it all together and you get one dead primeval. Hopefully with this team build you'll be able to burn through games of Gambit quickly. And hey, the other other team runs the same loadout and runs it quicker and better than you? Look on the bright side, at least you're getting quick games of Gambit either way. I hope RNG is good to you and you get a rock solid bottom dollar with a hot roll. Now before I show you a full game of Gambit using the strategy we've talked about, I want to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, Privacy. Privacy is a tool that makes it easy to manage your financial lives online while keeping all of your most important info secure. By generating virtual numbers, Privacy protects your real bank info so you never have to worry about giving it out to people you don't know online. After all, I don't know if you've heard, but some people on the internet are apparently up to no good. I know, shocking. How does it work? You can go to privacy.com and easily make a new account. Link your virtual card to your US checking account or debit card and you're good to go. You can then easily and safely send a friend, family member, or coworker a privacy card straight from your dashboard in only a few clicks. No copy pasting or screenshotting or any of that garbage. Just click the share button when viewing a card, enter an email address to share it with and privacy will take care of the rest. How great is that? Perfect for small business owners sharing expenses with a team or for really anyone who knows that sharing financial info online ain't always the safest thing. Head on over to privacy.com slash fallout and sign up for an account. New customers will automatically get five buccarinos to spend on their first purchase. Again, go to privacy.com slash fallout and sign up now. All right, now here's the unedited match where we insta liquidate the primeval. Hope you give the loadout a try and good luck farming bottom dollars. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, it's scorn even. Ah, good. The scorn. Wave two, wave two, wave two. Trash, I would say you get enough for like, for five motes and then head back to the center or something. Cause like, we want to get that first invade. We just, we just can't get held up here for too long, you know? Like, head over right now, I would say. Yep. Uh, one more, and then, yeah, we should have enough for, for uh, invade now. Everyone go back. Dunk. Time to dunk. Dunk, dunk, dunk. You got one. I got one. Everybody go. Everybody go. There we go. It's kind of crazy how like strong that first invade is on paper. There we go. Well done. See, now we got Mudkip over there, 35-0, and they got a thick gray bar. If Mudkip can close, great. If he can't, at least we slowed him down. Mm. At least we slowed him down. Ooh, Ooh he got two. He got two, baby. You'll love to see it. That's like vintage invading right there. Nice work, nice work. What the f? I can go for one more. Don't pick it up when you get him. There we oh, go. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> I, I barely heard what you were saying. <laughs> I still have zero. I have. I can afford to. Want to go back in? Pick up more. Send him back, gamer. Mudkip trash is about to send you. Oof. They're trashing me up here, bro. Reload, reload, reload. Okay. <laughs> God damn, high value target. You better stay away from me. Here, huh? There you go. 
I'm here because I too hate pants. Pants truly are the enemy of the people. Primeval time, go, go, go. Drop what you're doing and go. This match right here is like the match to show, dude. Nailed it. All right, Envoy time. Envoys are dead. Wait, for, wait for me. Oh, God damn it. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm dead. Someone ran by me. <laughs> there you go. Mudkip, thank you. All right, uh, okay, tractor cannon. Do it. <laughs> oh, 